Example number three. Um, talks about the slope intercept form. So we've got y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope of the equation on the line, and b represents the y intercept. Now, when I say y intercept, do we all know what I mean by that? Yeah. I'll write it down anyways. Where it crosses y axis. All right. Okay, so example number three says uh, write the equation on the line that passes through the point negative one comma six with a slope of Well, this is kind of easy to do. Uh, the slope is m, right? So m equals 3, x sub 1 equals negative 1, and y sub 1 equals 6. Well, we want to make it like the slope intercept form. But in order to write it in the slope intercept form, what do I need to know? I need to know what B is. So now some of the problems you're going to do just like example number two, but some of the problems you're going to do like example number three. So if in your homework it says use slope intercept form, you have to do it this way. If in your homework, and it's basically, um, if you look in your textbook, um, you need to practice both. But I think problems 11 through 14, you have to do like example number three. And so the, the, this is how you do problems um, 21 through 25. Okay, you gotta do it this way. So they want you, it would be easier if we use the point slope form, but what they want us to do is plug it in and say y is equal to mx plus b. So you could think of this as being y being a point on the line. So this is like y sub 1 and x being a point on the line. So that's like x sub 1. And then this is x sub 1 comma y sub 1. All right. And so what we do is we plug in chug. So we're going to plug in 6 is equal to 3 times the quantity negative 1 plus b. And we don't know what b is. So this becomes negative 3 plus b. So b is the number that we subtract 3 from to get 6. So what's b? Or we could just solve if that's a little too much for you guys early in the morning. So we could say that b is equal to 9, right? Now if that's the case, what's my equation of the line in slope intercept form? Yeah, so we, so we just say y equals mx plus b. Now that we know what m and b are, it's y equals negative 3x plus 9. So technically, this is the answer they're looking for. Does that make sense? Any questions? So the slope changes after you solve that? Why oh, why did I put a negative 3? It's not, no, it's positive 3. I, I apologize. I was looking at this. You're right, it's positive three. See how, it, how easy it is to make a mistake?